Today, I caught Alasius Americanus Queen Ant. To mimic the chamber that the queen digs after mating, I created a test tube setup. The night before, a large thunderstorm occurred, but this did not prevent the queen ant from laying four eggs. The queen laid two eggs, leaving the total number of eggs to be six. I did not have to feed the queen because in this stage, the queen can sustain herself with a protein soup made from the wing muscles on her mesomero or her thorax. The queen ant laid four more eggs today, leaving the total number of eggs to be ten. The queen does quite a bit of resting, as observed, but I figured that she may be doing more. Ant eggs take one to two weeks to hatch, so I must be very patient. The queen arranges the eggs for their temperature and moisture needs. In the test tube, there is a natural moisture gradient from being the most moist near the wet cotton and the driest at the plug cotton. Here the queen licks herself to get clean. Ants do this to get rid of particles on the exoskeleton and to get better smell. Ants have very poor eyesight and rely on their antennae to get Every day, the queen licks the eggs to get them clean and protect them from pathogens such as mold, fungi, and bacteria. Ant spit is a natural antibacterial. Today, the queen was very active, even moving brood in my presence. I think the eggs will hatch within the next five days. The eggs have finally hatched. Ant larvae are very sticky and stick together. This makes them very easy to move around as you can see when the queen picks up a bunch of eggs and brood and moves them around. This makes them very easy to be transported from one chamber to another. Looking into the translucent body of the ant larva, you can clearly see that it has been fed the protein soup 
made from the Queen Anne's back muscles or wing muscles. Um, the soup is very high in protein as it is muscle and will boost the larvae's development. 